Type 2 diabetes is what we sort of all think about as the lifestyle diabetes or what um, is associated with obesity and just eating lots of sugar all the time. So this is more common, very common in our country and becoming more and more common in almost every developed country in the world. For instance, there's a massively high rate in Saudi Arabia, believe it or not. Uh, there's a very high rate in certain populations, such as Eskimos and certain um, Indian tribes. So we know there is a, probably some type of a genetic component, but that's being looked at in research. Basically, in this case, your pancreas works. There's been no attack of your pancreas. There's no autoimmune disorder. Uh, so you're making insulin, but your body doesn't know how to use it. So the cells aren't letting the insulin become that key to unlock the glucose hole, right? So this is what happens with years of too much sugar floating around in your blood. That's why it develops usually later. Although, like I said, now with um, more and more obesity in childhood, we're seeing it earlier. It's related to really how much time blood is floating around in your sugar. So it used to be only in adults, but now in America, it's starting to be earlier. This is what we call now in medicine a chronic inflammation disease. Most of our big problems in America, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's, things like that, are we know now due to low levels of constant ongoing chronic inflammation. And obesity leads to this because adipose cells produce inflammatory mediators. This also has the same symptoms as type one, thirsty, hungry, urinating inappropriately, but some people have no symptoms and that's the scary thing. How do we treat this? The number one best way to treat it is diet and lifestyle changes. Um, but I'll tell you, sometimes you have to go as far as having a sleeve or a bariatric surgery, and that can be life changing. For instance, Pennington Research Center here in Baton Rouge is doing a ton of research on this. And they actually have a bariatric program. I actually just got a patient into it. So they're really helping our community out too. Sometimes diet isn't enough to get uh, the levels of adipose or obesity down to help treat the disease. And then also medications, insulin. 